why not implement the specific recommendations from the White House Coronavirus Task Force? Well, I have done, I have done a lot of them, but we have you know data that we're looking at on a daily basis. So I still believe it's up to the governors and the various state to make those decisions. We're in constant contact. I spoke to the uh, Surgeon General yesterday to talk about the antigen testing. We're one of the few states that's actually rolling that into our numbers, which is a good thing because it is another test. It's a point of care and it's new, but it's still a reflection of the testing that's being done. And so when Dr. Padati made the recommendation to include that in our overall numbers, I, I agreed with that. It is gives us a truer picture of what's going on in the state of Iowa. And a lot of states aren't doing that. They're not including those in their numbers. So, you know, we, we are in contact. I tell them what we're doing. Sometimes they don't have the entire picture of the things that we're doing. You know, we've closed some of the bars where we attributed the higher number of positivity uh, numbers to by the data that we have, by the contact tracing that they're doing. So we're doing. Um, sometimes they don't have access to that uh, information. And uh, the nursing homes, we've, we're ahead of them with uh, um, working with our colleges and universities and community colleges. We had already been, we'd already done that. Um, so we were able to align that with what some of the recommendations were too. So, you know, we've done a lot of them. Okay. Um, the test Iowa contract was signed in April.